Do you ever wonder where creativity comes from? Or more importantly, where it goes when you show up to want to do some artwork and you don't feel inspired? Today I'm going to talk about curiosity and how it relates to creativity. I'm going to be exploring some supplies I've been very curious about of late, working with wet paper, watercolor pencils, watercolor brush pens, and good old watercolor. And I might throw some other stuff in there too. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Terry Runyon, visual artist and creative encourager, and I'm here to talk to you today about this idea of curiosity and how it leads to creativity. I might even go as far as to say that curiosity and creativity are the same thing. They're that spark, that inspiration, that I wonder if feeling we get when we least expect it. Sometimes it just comes out of the blue. Whatever way it shows up for you, it's important to realize that all these little invitations that happen, these little sparks, these curious moments where we just wonder about something, that is our creativity inviting us in. It's letting you know that right now there's something blooming. Today I'm gonna to work with a variety of supplies to do some artwork around International Cat Day. I do know I want to work on a wet surface and I'm going to use a Prima watercolor pad 8x8 to do this. I'm also going to use a brush that is just to cover the surface with water before I start. You can use any brush, just make sure it's clean. Mine are usually filled with cat hair so I have to be really careful with them. I just dip this in water and cover the surface and let the paper get kind of wet. I find I like using the brush to wet the paper instead of a squirt bottle because when I use a squirt bottle it seems like it gets everywhere. And also I can get a bit of a more even surface of moisture on this piece of paper. I think today I'm going to start with some watercolor on here. Now it's all wet to start with so it's going to kind of bleed and spread everywhere. I'm not sure where it's going to go but I'm really curious about what will happen here. As I've been going along here, I've had all kinds of thoughts saying, what in the hell are you doing, Terry? And I really don't know. I am curious about what will happen as I put each of these items down on this paper, because I, I have a little bit of a sense of it, because I've played with this a little bit before, but I am kind of going with the flow here. So we'll see what happens as I go. I think I'm done with this one. I don't have a sense of what's next, so usually when that happens 
and the page feels very full to me, I go ahead and call it done. So that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to start a new one. I'm going to use my Stonehenge paper, which is not as thick as the Prima paper and not as absorbent. So that's where I'm going to go next. And I'm going to do some blob shapes and make those into cats. Okay, I definitely have some blobby shapes here. I'm really curious about how I'm gonna make this look like cats and pull it all together because right now it just looks like a heck of a mess. So uh, we'll see what happens from here. I'm gonna come back in with some line work. Well, I got a couple pieces done here. I usually have a lot of fun playing with the wet paper, and today was no exception. The cats went in places I never thought they would go, because I really didn't know where they were going to go. And then the other one where I made a bunch of blobs and made cats out of them. I was totally being in the spur of the moment and seeing what showed up. Creativity is happening all the time. And when we just follow our curiosity and see where it leads us, the actual feeling of curiosity and spark or whatever it is for you is creativity unfolding. It's a lead-in, it's an invitation. 
So when you feel curious, jump in there. Just see what happens. There's nothing writing on this. We can just make art. We can make a mess. Whatever it is that happens while you're playing with your creativity has nothing to do with your value as an artist or your value as a person. The more we pay attention to it, to our curiosity and our creativity and our sparks, the more we'll start to notice them. Because the way I see it is they're happening all the time. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. So I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.